Good evening from the Kennedy farm. We're frozen here in the Ozarks, but it's beautiful. Wife wants some chickens. We've got to fix this chicken coop. This back board has busted and broke off and fell down, which has the top of it sagged down in it. It has to have the grating across the top too here because there are so many predatory birds that they'll just fly down and fly off with your chickens here. Uh, so yeah, you gotta have the roof grate on here to keep predatory birds from eating all your chickens. Which all it needs is that one board run across there that the beams that run into the building redone and reattached it'll be done of course clearing it out of brush <laughs> but the whole point of coming out here was to look for tracks which I have found it's hard to tell the difference between where it's melting and tracks but I can tell there's a track there's a track, there's a track. That's not a track, that's not a track. So I'm following tracks. And you never know if I hit the right spot, I might actually be able to make out what kind of track it is. Uh, it's going in this direction, pointed, rounded. Do you believe that is deer track? It's either deer track or the snow is melted away from a smaller animal. But, uh, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna be under that tree there. Come out here just trying to get a picture of these cardinals. There's some really bright red cardinals back here that just really stand out in the snow. Anyways, just wanted to share the frozen background here in the Ozarks. People ask me how much snow we got. You can tell that it's not even an inch left on the ground due to some melting. The ground temperature itself is not cold enough. If it would have been a little colder a day or two before that storm front hit, we would have probably ended up with like nine inches of snow. Because, I mean, <laughs> it snowed for more than 24 hours a good big flake constant snow it wasn't just a spitting but as it landed it melted and even as it piled up that bottom layer melts away so it's it's literally melting from the bottom up because that top layer of snow acts like an insulation it traps the warmth of the ground i mean if you think of like a igloo it's ice, but you, you make a big ball of ice and you climb in the middle of it, it'll trap your body heat. Same thing's happening with the snow on the ground. It's insulating the temperature of the ground. Now, once the temperature drops to a certain point, that no longer happens. And this does make the ground temperature colder. I mean... The ground's still soft. When it's froze solid, it'll be hard as a rock, even on dirt. Anyways, I'm going to come back here to see if I can't find this cardinal. Get a couple pictures of it. Bright, pretty bright red birds in this white background. Makes for a good picture, in my opinion. So, uh, hope everybody stays safe and stays warm. Have a good day.